Well, here I am, back as promised. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida on an overcast Sunday morning. Temperature's still around 59 degrees. I just checked the weather forecast. Now it looks like here in North Naples, the highs are only gonna be around 72. Clouds are gonna remain with us until around noon time. The weather is rolling in from the northwest up in that direction there. Those clouds are headed our way. But I'm down in area one, almost at the end of the park, just a little north of the southern boundary of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Get a little wind, a little breeze coming out of the north, cooling things down. Every now and then it picks up. See the flag blowing there. Every now and then. We get some nice little puffs of wind. Put a little chill in the air for us southerners. I'll keep an eye open for some shells as I'm walking up the beach here. As we walk north up towards Wiggins Pass. I don't know if we're going to get up to Wiggins Pass this morning. We'll see. Not very busy here today. Not gonna have any problems finding a parking spot this morning. <laughs> Not a very good day to work on your tan. Good morning to be sitting in church and then going to the house of omelets after church. Hey, if you're sitting at home and you're missing church, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. on Facebook, you can catch Pastor Tim Reed 
from Fairway Bible Church here in Naples. You can catch him live on Facebook at 10 a.m. He does some great preaching. Preaches from the Bible. Just look for Fairway Bible Church on Facebook. enjoying the sounds of the waves right now. Good morning. Our, our beach wor worshipers up there this morning. <laughs> they were all huddled in the... Uh, I guess they're meditators. Meditators? Meditators. Meditators. I've heard of all kinds of taters. <laughs> Meditators. I like it. What are you doing right here, man? Uh, I don't know. Oh, a ponytail? Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> well Bro, you, I'm going to sell it. One of those headbands. Bring me, a, bring me some uh, hedge trimmers. <laughs> <laughs> be. I am the laziest person when it comes to getting haircuts. I, I just hate mine. it. When, when oh, you're used to having short coming. hair. <laughs> Once that gray starts coming, man. That's oh, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Yeah, they won't speak to us. There's a group from some kind of, I don't know what kind of organization it is. They come out here in the, on Sunday mornings and they all stand like statues, either staring at the sunrise or staring at the ocean, meditating. And then they lay out on the beach, all dressed, just lay down on the sand. My friend Mike's Asked them a couple times where they're from and they just ignore them, which is kind of weird. You think they'd want to talk to you and bring you into their group. Yeah, Connie, that's the word I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it. Aliens, they look like aliens standing out here on the beach. <laughs> it's actually kind of creepy when you see it. But to each their own. That's God's job to sort everything out. Not mine. Good morning. Oh, 
Oh, Connie, I got to tell you something funny. Her, our buddy Roy. As most of you know, Roy and I went down to the pier last week. Took a little walk on the pier. And then I did a little beach walk down by the pier. It was a nice morning. Yeah, broke up the routine. I had a chance to get down to the beach early. So I picked Roy up and took him down there with me. And man, oh man, he was happy as a clam. He was cold. He was freezing cold, of course, because it must have been at least 60 degrees, 65 degrees. So he's all bundled up. And I don't know if you're familiar with the pier. There's a little pavilion and a snack bar concession stand about halfway out on the pier. So Roy is sitting under this little pavilion out of the wind, all bundled up. And there's a gentleman that comes there in the mornings. And he brings a big thermos of coffee and somebody else brings donuts and they kind of share with each other well Roy was cold and this guy saw Roy was cold he offered Roy a cup of coffee and to my surprise Roy accepted the coffee that is the first cup of coffee Roy has ever drank in his life <laughs> so that was the first experience that Roy had it, he was, I thought he'd be running up and down the pier after that cup of coffee, but no, he just kind of stayed there mellowing out. So then, a little bit later in the morning, our friend Connie shows up. Dear sweet Connie. And Connie is known for her famous homemade banana bread. Well, she brought some banana bread out for me and Roy. And much to Roy's chagrin, the guy running the concession stand offered Roy a free cup of hot chocolate. So Roy was in seventh heaven. That's all he could talk about. All the way home from the pier, boy, that banana bread's good. Did you eat your, he kept, I didn't eat mine. I saved it till I got home to drop in the microwave and heat it up just a tad and put some real butter on it. <sighs> kept asking me if I ate my banana bread all the way home. I think he was trying to get it from me. <laughs> but anyway, the next morning, he kept talking about it again, except the story changed. This is where it always gets funny with Roy. He was telling me all about this awesome carrot cake that he got from Karen down at the pier. <laughs> Oh, you got to love them. You got to love them. I'm like, Roy, 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 that was Connie. That was banana bread. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Karen, carrot cake, you know, that Connie, carrot cake, that rhymes too, you know, Connie, carrot, carrot cake, but Connie, banana bread, I guess, I don't know why. He usually is good at associating people's names with food. <laughs> if you want to, Get, in, get your name instilled in Roy's uh, memory banks there. Bring him something to eat. <laughs> you know what they say about guys. Fastest way or closest way to get to our hearts. Fastest way it's with food through our stomach. It's true. Especially the older we get. Good food, a wonderful aphrodisiac. <laughs> so anyway, Connie, you are now Karen with the carrot cake. It doesn't matter what Roy calls you. <laughs> God bless him. He forgets my name too sometimes. Heck, I forget people's names. I meet so many people here on the beach, I can't remember their names. People come up to me and introduce themselves. Our beach friends that have been following along.
I'm kind of like Roy. I remember Nancy and Pete. Remember Nancy and Pete? They came down from Joliet, from Illinois. I remember them. They would bring me donuts every morning from the hotel. How could I forget them? <laughs> Have a great day, Phil. Roy remembers them too because they'd bring him muffins from the hotel. See how it works with us old guys? <laughs> There goes Ranger T, making his morning rounds. Making his morning rounds. Unfortunately, his morning rounds consist of picking up a lot of trash, especially on holidays. For the most part, though, everybody's been pretty well behaved here. Naples is not a huge spring break town. We do get our share of spring breakers, but nothing like other parts of Florida. The East Coast, Panama's up in the Panhandle, Panama City. And over on the East Coast, Daytona, Miami. Fort Lauderdale. Those places go crazy. It doesn't look like Florida, does it? People with their vests and jackets. <laughs> Still I haven't seen any shells that I wanted to pick up here. Supposed to be spring. Spring sprung yesterday. All the flowers are supposed to be blooming. I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to make it up to the pass this morning, but. I might make it up here to Area 5, up by the dead trees, just to see what things look like up there. You might find it interesting. Well, didn't see any turtle tracks yet on the beach. Still a bit early for this coast here for Southwest Florida. Well, oh, somebody's got some breakfast ready for us over there. Got a table set up with some donuts. I can smell them. Look 
<laughs> we should go over and invite ourselves to have a few. Yeah, it's probably going to clear up in a couple hours here. If the weatherman is right, they keep predicting the clouds to clear off later and later as the day progresses. Started out saying it was going to be sunny by 9 a.m., then 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Now, last I checked, it was noon. Socked in here now. Pretty well socked in. Good morning. morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I figured there was going to be a lot up there because there was a lot here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah. There's there, a lot. It's the best I figured there's going to be a ton of people. Though. Uh, not yet. Really? No, nope, not yet. Wow. When I first walked up there, I thought there was a bunch of people, but they were doing their prayer thing along here well, whatever and so they were doing their prayer thing and then there was a photo shoot and when i was up oh wow the point there was me and another person. oh well kevin's been up there well he's got something he's in, got, he's what's kinda, he got he's kind of the scourge of the beach he is <laughs> <laughs> the scourge <laughs> hour. oh is that for me thanks an hour okay they keep it saying later and later. Start out eight, it was gonna be beautiful. Yeah, no, then I'm ten sorry. nine, then ten. It's like keeps going further and further. As long as it'll be out. Yeah. Were you up there at the end? I didn't go all the way around. I just walked. John just said there was. It was pretty good. Yeah. I haven't been up. Well, he was already up there. You know what that means. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and say a prayer. Okay. You wanna join me in a? For who? In the, in the prayer group up there? Oh, these guys? Yeah, you want to join me in the... No, I'm not. We'll stand there and... I pray, I pray myself. Pray when you're walking. Yep. There you go. Well, John said there's some shells up there at the north end. I had a feeling they'd be there. If I didn't go up there, there would be a lot of shells up there. It's usually how it works.
Sunday fun day. So here we are, we're already up in area five. We started down in area one, almost at the end of the park, the southern boundary of the park. A nice little walk this morning. Down and back. If nothing else, I got a little exercise. I don't think our gopher tortoises are out this morning. Their nests, their little burrows up over in there. I think they're sound asleep. It's a bit on the cool side, I think, for them. Boy, yesterday there was probably at least half a dozen paddle boarders and surfers out here riding some of the waves in. There's a see one out here now. Not nearly as many waves as there were yesterday up here. couple shells down here still nothing jumping jumping out at me saying take me home I have a hard time seeing and when that sun's not shining bright the old eyes aren't what they used to be everything's kind of a big white blur down there I gotta really stop and bend down and look Probably gonna be some good shelling tomorrow here. For the next couple days, maybe it's been pretty darn rough. Who knows? <laughs> good morning. Says good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Our friend Elizabeth. Oh, little 
surf's a little too high here to walk along the trees to walk out in the water I'm gonna <coughs> good morning Can definitely smell the red tide up here. Getting some whiffs of that red tide up here. Well, I didn't see our group of meditators up here. I don't know where they are. I don't know where the meditators are. They're usually sprinkled all around the beach up here. We'll just go up, take a peek at the north end of the park here. Won't go out to the pass, but just get out beyond the trees here. See what it looks like up at the end. Definitely much quieter here today than yesterday. There's hardly anybody here this morning. You know, I can't resist the thought of missing the opportunity to find a decent shell or two. Let's see what's cooking up here. Let's see what's cooking. John said there was a lot of shells and not a lot of people. But he's already been here. Morning. Morning. Well, I'm not seeing what he was talking about unless it's around the corner. Unless the shells are piled up around the corner at the point there where all the fishermen are or usually are.
Huh. Nada, nada. We got to see Wiggins Pass this morning. Oh, and get to see Dugan. Get to see Dugan. Wow, my morning is complete now. I got to I got to see you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh. Well, that sailboat is still there. Maybe one morning we'll come out and it will be gone. It's definitely been tossed around now. Now it's facing north. Look at that. Completely turned around there. I don't know what those folks are doing there. Kind of some kind of salvage boat or something, I don't know. Maybe they're the ones that turned it around there. Well, maybe it'll be gone tomorrow. It'll be interesting. Yeah, a couple pelicans up here this morning. I don't know if you can see them in the distance there. Two of our little pelican friends. pile of shells here just a little pile I see a little what's left of a crown conch and a tulip shell maybe what's left of a tulip oh no whelk a little piece of a old crown conch nothing 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 oh well everybody likes to get a picture of the pelicans Everybody wants a picture of the pelicans. They just sit here and pose.
They are. Yep, Florida Eagles. <laughs> Time for a little grooming, I guess. Staring at me. <laughs> Yep, off they go. I'll head back down the beach. Those are turkeys. Those are wild beach turkeys. Yeah, huh? Yep. Yeah, they made for life. We can they're, pick up a whole scenario. They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess. Yeah, I really didn't see much of anything. Yeah, there's nothing there. Some beach turkey. Well, a couple beach turkeys up there. The Florida, the Florida beach turkeys. <laughs> I'm sure they were. Looks like they're working on getting that boat out of there for sure.
Well, it's not a sunny and bright spring morning here, but at least we got to spend some time together with our friends. That's what it's really all about here. Bringing everybody together in the mornings. Well, if you'll enjoy our time together, if you appreciate what I do, tips are always welcome. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the text description of this post. I do appreciate your contributions. I depend on them to get me over the hump every month. Can also send stars see the stars up there zero stars nobody wanted to send any today Woo but i am going to call it a morning here thanks for hanging out with me thanks for being a friend those of you that are financial supporters, thank you. I really appreciate that. Head back down the beach and pick up Roy hiding out in the bushes out of the wind I knew he wasn't gonna last long on the beach this morning but he was determined to sit out there we'll take a look at our prayer tree over here There it is. Our famous prayer tree up in Area 5. A surfer back there. Whoop. The waves aren't very big today. All right, I'll see you out here tomorrow morning about the same time, around 8 a.m. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember our motto, bringing people together one beach walk at a time. Thanks for watching, everyone.
until tomorrow. Stay safe, stay healthy. Tally ho, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.